Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a video that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. This is actually like one of my favorite types of videos to watch on YouTube. Um, and it's just the best makeup that I can find at TJ Maxx. So um, I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls pretty frequently, but I usually am only looking at like home decor or clothes. Um, but I have seen so many people's videos recently where they are just finding like the best makeup there. Um, and I feel like I never have any luck finding anything, but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go probably to a couple different locations and I'm going to take you guys with me. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I found when I walked into TJ Maxx was this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. And um, this retails for $48 on her website and they had it for $29.99 at TJ Maxx, which is an amazing deal because a ton of people really, really like Kat Von D's eyeshadow palettes and stuff. And they also had the Kat Von D Shade and Light Cream Contour Kit, which normally runs for $49 on her website, but TJ Maxx had it for $24.99, which is an amazing deal. And as you can see, they had so many on the shelves. Like it didn't really feel like you were trying to find a needle in a haystack. It was really awesome. They also had the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit that normally runs for $40 on Ulta's website, but TJ Maxx had it for $18.99, which is a steal. And I actually could not pass this up. I ended up buying the Contour Cream Kit in the shade Light. It's something I've really been wanting to try and ugh, I'm so excited. They also had the Smashbox eyeshadow palette that I couldn't find the exact one online, so I'm not really sure how much this retails for normally, but they had it for $27.99, which in my opinion kind of seemed a little steep still, but I'm not sure what the normal price is. They also had a lot of the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powders. Um, these normally retail for $25 on her website, but she actually has them on sale for $15 right now. Um, but TJ Maxx had them for $7.99, so it was still a steal. The only thing I didn't like about this is that they only had one shade, so it was kind of hard if you, you know, weren't that shade. <laughs> I also found this Cover FX uh, Cream Contour Kit, but as you can see, somebody put their fingers all over it and ruined it. So I honestly don't even know why they keep this on the shelf. No one's gonna buy it, but $8.99 was a good deal before somebody ruined it. And that's one of the things I noticed on this trip to TJ Maxx is that TJ Maxx seems to be noticing that that's a problem with their products. So if you saw some of them had like these security contraptions on them, so you couldn't even open them. So that was really awesome. That way, you know, if you find something, it won't be ruined when you open it up. I also walked over to the clearance section and they had a couple of these Bite Beauty lipsticks. And this one is like an am amuse bouche, I think it's called. Um, and those normally run for $26 on their website and they had them for $4.50. Um, I have one of these lipsticks and the formula is amazing. And honestly, all Bite Beauty lipsticks are really, really great. So it was awesome to see them here at TJ Maxx. They also had these um, Lancome Color Design Single Eyeshadows, which I was so excited to see because I had just seen a video earlier today about somebody talking about these were just like super underrated and they were really awesome. Um, and they normally retail for $22 and they had them for eight here at TJ Maxx. And I was so excited. I was gonna get them until I opened them up and saw that somebody had like completely ruined them. So that was a bummer. <laughs> They also had these adorable Betsy Johnson makeup bags that were actually really big. And I thought they'd be so awesome for traveling just to put like all of your hair stuff and makeup and everything in there. Like they were huge. Um, and I couldn't find them online. So I'm not really sure what they normally retail for, but TJ Maxx had them for $19.99, which I thought was a really good deal because they were super cute. 
They also had these MAC eyeshadow palettes. Um, and this one, the Fashion Fanatic, runs for $41 on MAC's website. And they had it for $19.99 here at TJ Maxx. This one wasn't as great of a deal. This one is called the Queen Supreme and that's $23 on Mac's website and they have it for $19.99 here at TJ Maxx. They also had um, some more Anastasia products. This one is a liquid lipstick that normally runs for $20 and they had it for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. They also had some more products. Um, this is the Blush Trio. This runs for $30 on their website, or actually on Sephora's website, and they were selling it for $10.99. I couldn't believe it. And again, if you can see, they had so many on the shelf, so it was just awesome. This sponge pack wasn't like a huge deal. You can buy the four pack um, of those Real Technique sponges that I absolutely love. Those are my favorite. You can buy them for $17.99 at Ulta, um, but they were selling them for $12.99 here at TJ Maxx. They also had a bunch of Real Techniques um, brush sets, which I thought were a good deal because these brushes are amazing. I love them. So it's a really good option to pick them up at TJ Maxx. Okay, on to TJ Maxx number two. Okay, so the first thing I found at this TJ Maxx was this Becca Luminous um, Foundation, and this normally retails for $44, and they had it for $10 at TJ Maxx, which was awesome. The only problem was that they only had like one shade, so if you were lucky enough to be that shade, then this was an amazing deal for you. <laughs> Um, they also had this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation for only $8, but again, they only had one shade, so if you were lucky enough to be that shade, then this is just, you were hitting the jackpot today. <laughs> this TJ Maxx was not my favorite. I did not think it was that, I, I liked the other one better because they had so many products that were just missing out of their packages. Like you just pick something up and it was completely empty. Um, they also had things like mismatched in price. Like this eyeliner um, from Lancome was, I think it was $7. Um, I, I found another one that was exactly the same in the same shade and everything. And it was marked as $12. So it just seemed like really inconsistent and really messy. Like I just did not, I was not a fan of this TJ Maxx. See, this is the other eyeliner that was marked as $12, even though it's exactly the same. So it was just not very consistent. Uh, this location also had some Real Techniques brush sets and they actually had a few more different versions, which is really cool because like I said, Real Techniques brushes are amazing and they're really affordable. This one also had the Kat Von D Shade and Light um, eyeshadow palette, but, oh, actually this is the cream contour palette, but they only had one of them again. So compared to the other TJ Maxx, they had so many. Um, this one only had one, so that kind of sucked. And you could just see this TJ Maxx was just like not as stocked. They did have these um, Bite Beauty lipsticks, which I kind of thought was a good deal because they were $9.99 for two. And I actually couldn't find anywhere online where they were selling two of these lip pencils together to compare the prices. But these Bite Beauty pencils are really awesome. And the color shades they had were really, really nice. So again, I just didn't feel like this TJ Maxx had a ton of selection. It just was not as great as the other one. Um, they only had like one decent palette. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't that great. 
I also went into the um, skincare section and I found this uh, some good stuff. This is the Clinique Pep Start face mask that normally is $24.50 that they were selling for $14.99. So that was cool. And also a lot of people really love this La Vanille uh, like healthy deodorant. And they sell this at Sephora for $14 and TJ Maxx had it for $7.99 and they had a couple different scents. So if you like this deodorant, check it out at uh, TJ Maxx, see if you can find it. And the other thing I really liked about this TJ Maxx is they had a ton of OPI nail polishes for $3.99, which normally those are about $8. So I thought this was really cool because I love OPI nail polishes. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, you can find some really awesome things at TJ Maxx, but it really depends on the location you go to and just if they keep it stocked or not. So just keep trying and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.